We may need it soon. Okay, I'll, tr I'll try to keep that in mind. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearthstone 4 Kaiserreich as Germany. Let us continue on for the last left off. So Spain's in a civil war. Uh, we are sending troops down there to kind of help them out. Because again, we want them to win. Either they win or if the Carlos win. Both of those work out fine for us. Get to the end of 36. I mean, we sh I, mean I don't see a reason why we wouldn't be able to. And it does seem like the events are slowly starting to... Or they're just trying to slow down a little bit. Uh, where do I want you guys to go? I think I want you, like, right here. And your job is to move your way to Valencia. Cut CNT in half. Crush the units in the south and push your way to Barcelona. Austria announced its support for Bulgaria. On the initiative of Serbia, representatives of several uh, countries have convened in Belgrade to discuss political and military situation in the Balkans. Yes, we also will support the Bulgarians. Because Zveno, Zveno is not pro-Russia, right? Unless I'm remembering this incorrectly. Arrest labor activist, political power gain, consumer... Yeah, arrest labor activist. Do some reform. Maybe don't do the security lapses right now. Zeta can join Moscow Corps, but they usually won't. I thought they were the one faction that doesn't join, uh... That doesn't join Russia. But I might be thinking of a different faction. Okay, we're doing well here. We got our tanks. I mean, the Spanish... I don't think they have anything to really counteract the tanks, which is beneficial for me. And again, I want to see if we can, like, at least push our way to the coastline. Get CNT cut it off in half. Ate Monarchist Bulgaria. Okay. Let's see if we can go this way. Up. The left KMT has uh, died. That is beneficial. Are the German puppets tweaked in this update? I'm not too sure. There, I mean, if you go to Reddit, it's on the Reddit thread. You can read all the change logs there. I don't know which ones, if any of them have changed. I know they changed a little bit about the Internationale. But that's about it. Okay, the Marine Divisions. Uh, you guys are basically just going to be... Well, I mean, I let's just prepare you for naval invasion now. Like, what am I even doing? Do I not have naval invasion tech? Go to Berlin. Just, just go hang out in Berlin, okay? I don't want to deal with your shit at the moment. I think you're a supply hub. You are. The Central European Custom Unity returns to activity. At the beginning of the economic crisis caused by uh, the Black Monday stock market crash, uh, caused Germany to draw its attention away from foreign affairs uh, for the past year, the Central European Custom Union, more commonly known as Middle Europa, has uh, returned back to action. Good. Oh, my, oh shit, there's actually like, a whole pop-up here. Okay. Uh, agenda score 31. Next election in 31 days. Uh, financial injection? Okay, okay. Hey, there we go. I've got no clue what the hell that even does. Okay. And a royal scandal! No! I can't deal with scandals right now. Another day, another sensational rumor about the royal family's dark secrets is making the rounds. This time, Crown Prince Wilhelm and one other of his alleged love affairs stand in the center of attention again. Censorship of the articles that openly defame the uh, Hohenzollerns uh, and threaten their reputation is very resolute. The most mainstream newspapers try to refrain from publishing such controversial articles in the first place out of respect. But the quick emergence of the less professional tabloid press in recent years, however, uh, some unpleasant information always manages to slip through the public. Considering the, uh, the Crown Prince's relatively low popularity, barely anyone can really be expected to be shocked about the new uh, headlines. Only in the heart of the Empire and the Reich's chance to read that the uh, future monarch's behavior causes more than great displeasure. You know what? Again, I don't need stability. Get that shit out of here, man. Okay. The direction of the military. It was so long ago that Prussia is an army with a state. 
And though Germany's advance beyond this brutish image somewhat, it's no surprise that the Imperial German Army is one of the most influential and valued arms of the Empire. The Vail Creek is given an aura of invincibility, and though it may be true, the army is nonetheless mired by issues that uh, may prove to be its Achilles heel. A vicious inter-service rivalry lacking uh, center coordination and a uh, classified aristocratic officer corps are just one of the many problems that worry the OHL and the Prussian Ministry of War. Factions or cliques have formed within the army, each with a different uh, vision. The reformists are the followers of the ideas of the late Hans von Steck and are represented by the current chief of staff, Kurt von Hammerstein Eckward. Uh, they envision a centralized, modernized, professional army, open all social strata, and employing a combined arms uh, mechanized warfare. On the other side of the fence are the Altgardensten, the old establishment, who afford a mere streamline to the existing army structure. Finally, also the side, Die Front, uh, championed by generals such as Joachim von Stupnagel, wish for a nationalistic, ideological military fit for a total war that will require mobilization of the nation from top to bottom. So we get to choose one of these. Arrest more labor activists. Do a little bit more ref Oh wait, wait, you said wait. Am I wait, uh Do escalate. Okay. It does mean I kinda of choose some of these uh, backwards. You wanna lower the number to zero. Oh, okay, okay. Then I have X, okay, then I press the security lapses incorrectly, but that's okay. Okay, I, I, I get it now. The economic savior! In the following months in uh, Hurdenberg's appointment as Secretary of the Economy, the Hurdenberg Group Press have been in, in overdrive. Uh, one after another, dozens of articles have been published, lauding the politicians' financial and economic acumen. Hugenberg is being presented as the economic savior, the only man who can restore Germany's economic golden age, and whose talents the government must uh, make use of. It must not just waste this opportunity. Similar rhetoric flies from the entrepreneur's allies of the Reichstag, uh, which has uh, received a handful of new members thanks to this propaganda drive. Okay, give me some more medium airframes. Our income tax will be done in 10 days. And what do we want to research here? A proof machine tool is always nice. How are how are you guys doing, Spain? Madrid is still holding on. I'm happy to see that. I do notice I don't think Spain. Like, what the hell are we up to, man? I'm gonna try to make sure we don't get encircled. Well, Gary wants support. Sure. There we go. Send him a thousand rifles. It's not, it's not a big deal to me whatsoever. Okay. There's our federal income tax. So what do we want next? 1050, 1250. Political power gain goes up a little bit. Price controls. We've already taken you. Negative 4% to the debt. What do we take? What do we go start going to this tree? The short gives you a card? Sold. Done. By the way, how is... Okay, five days on you. I had not even looked at... Whoops, I forgot about looking at this screen. So you give me two cards now, which is nice. 15-15. You're good. Okay, good. Excellent. 170. We're, we're, we're happy with this right now. And I want to... When are you going to be here? One day, 14 hours. When will you be here? 10 hours. Madrid has fallen. Good work, fucking idiots. Okay, but I've cut CNT in half. I think the King of Spain is fucked. <laughs> I, think, I think they're already dead. By the way, what's going on here? Everybody's supporting industrial projects. What do you do? One civilian factory. Hungary, get some advisors here. Once your next BM turn is done, I think you can start doing your political tree. Which does give you some political power. Twenty-six. I mean we're kind of We're 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 dead as shit, right? Like it, it's more it's so over. End of turn sixty days on you. 
The Conservative Revolution. Oh, 100 political power, actually. That is quite nice. What are we at right now for economic health? We're at negative 5. Okay. At the end of each turn, 200 200 will be uh, dealt for every building construction during this turn. That doesn't sound... For every building constructed... I'm not building that many buildings, right? Unless... Does this mean also, um... Like, infrastructure? What, what, what... Is it any of these buildings? Because some of these are fairly cheap. Like, what's infrastructure? Airbase, infrastructure 6,000. Provincial building, shared building, state buildings. The end of each turn, 200 200 will be dealt for every building constructed. Pretty debt costly, don't think you should take it. Probably, yeah, probably a little too, uh... Too late in this, huh? We don't have any bonuses here. So you know what? Change the crisis. Inflation. Didn't do too much here, but we'll go 25-25. 1,200, 1,200. 37. Permanently removed. Okay, we have some units here, though. What are you? Another Marine Division? All the Marine Divisions are just going to go into this army. So you don't have to worry about that too much. Yeah, no, Spain, Spain's dead, right? My my beautiful kingdom of Spain, it's it's never been like how, what are what, what's your capitulation at right now? Like you're so you're fifty five percent failed revolt in Ukraine. Okay, that seems positive to me. Two percent stability. Let's fucking go. Spain, what's your capital right now, Seville? I'm sure Seville is never going to fall. The urgent measures. After some weeks of silence, the Secretariat of the Economy, led by Alfred Harnberg, uh, published a white paper announcing their priorities in the uh, Kilisset government. Immediate and thorough economic reform is necessary in order to reinvigorate uh, the economy and grant beneficial environment to the industry. Uh, environment to industry and uh, curtail the strength of socialist movements, which, according to the Secretary, saps the empire of its strength with its constant demands. Uh, it demands for immediate deregulation and privatization of state owned industry, uh, establishment of import controls and tariffs for import and production, even if it violates Middle Europa agreements, uh, replacement of the welfare system with a mandatory savings, a complete ban on strikes, and a one year time limit for all trade unions to either expand or ban all socialist elements. Uh, the White Paper also considers restriction on Jewish econ economic activity, although it remains vague on ways it could be accomplished. Let us... He is not speaking in our behalf. So you're at two. If I go here, we'll take this one city from you. Change the course of the countryside. The new government has not uh, been in power for long. It already has to face its first major challenge. The creeping agrarian crisis in the countryside. Over the past 12 months, even uh, during the brief uh, Shadar Intermezzo, uh, State Secretary of the Agriculture, Martin Slay, uh, prominent representative of the Kuno von Westrap's moderate leadership, the EKP, and his well connected man within the Land Bund, has remained in office. Despite an enormous criticism, a uh, prime representative of the German agricultural lobby, uh, renowned for his efforts to uh, partially uplift the situation of many farmers during the late 1920s. Negative 0.4 stability? Cool. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it's okay. None of you give me cards. Arrest more activists, do more reforms. Never do this. Escalation is going to go by 10 points. It sounds bad, but I don't think it's going to be as bad as you might expect. Okay, I just got to make sure units in, in Spain don't die. 
Okay, new article submitted to the uh, the magazine of the Hair, uh, which has served as the uh, primary publication of the military since 1816. They made a round among the uh, readership. Penned by Max Bohr, and if his officer... Okay. Well, 1% uh, war support, I will take it. Thank you. Serbians declared war on you. We got civil war going on in America. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, okay? Okay. So, yeah, the Carlists are doing, I would say, fairly well for themselves. And once Spain is dead... Okay, let's see. Let's... See if we can move our units down here. Try to play a little bit safe. Okay, well, our, we, we, we lost the war, okay? It's a little, little bit of a shame. But that's okay. Our units didn't die. and I, I, that's, that's good, right? That's good. Okay, but let's now, now do the, uh, the conservative revolution. We get some stability. We can almost, almost have political power. Okay, Hulkenberg's response to her attempts to dis dissociate with the urgent measure papers was unexpected. He, fought, he declared that the urgent measures represented the economic program of the Fatherland Party, It must be taken into account by Sherwood's Roth Coalition. As the foremost economic expert of the VVLP, uh, he was indeed highly influential in drafting the economic tenets of the program, although it does not go as far as the Hindenburg's promised reforms. Senior members of the DKP and the Akels cabinet are growing increasingly frustrated with uh, Hogenberg. Uh, he is impossible to talk down, is utterly convinced that not only uh, should the government uh, listen to his proposals, but that his proposals will save Germany in one stroke. And once they do, the Chancellor and the rest of the coalition will have no option but to, to back down. You know what? G get him out of here. Get him out of here. Do National Social Principle and Organic Statehood next. They'll help with uh, the Hurenberg issues. Okay, excellent. Why some to Bulgaria? We can send four units. Maybe when our volunteers get here, we'll send them over to Bulgaria afterwards. Growing tension between the reactionary and the national revolutionary wings of the Fatherland Party, especially thanks to Hickenberg's machinations, had now split into an outright internal war. Regional associations are infighting, party press is confused on, the, on its political positions, and support for the party among the population flounders. Some liberal and socialist outlets have already uh, predicting a split, if not a complete breakdown and collapse of the once feared titan of the far right. Should this happen, the Klaus cabinet might fall when it's, uh, fall. The leadership of the DVLP could tell that the party split is impending. Fearing such an outcome, Ulrich von Hassel has decided to call an emergency conference of the party. Held in Berlin in four months. It will gather representatives from the party regional associations, affiliate organizations, and influential bankers, and answer at least some of the many, many questions about the future of the party. Uh, far from everybody, uh, far from everyone expect the uh, conference to become a unifying measure. Should Hogenberg feel confident, he may finally split from the party with his clique, or even try uh, give a second try at running for the party leadership. Okay. Arrest more people. Do more reforms. The, the revolution here. I have no political party. We might want that political party. Future of the army. Currently you're aligned with the Alt Godston. The current grip of the military is 50%. Investments in Poland. 41 points. I don't have 41 points. I've wasted all a bunch of points on this garbage as well. Excellent. Very cool. Okay. Let's do the National Social Principle. Fantastic. And the discovery of Citric Acid Cycle. Cool. We, we, we now know what a Citric Acid is. More military factories, please. How many factories do we have in military? 47? Not bad. Not bad. Let's throw you on some more tanks for now. And you know what? Throw some artillery pieces in here as well. Negative two, negative one is not that bad. And France, what's your military situation like? 24 to 27? Babies. They Their, their economy still also sucks. Which I, I, I would say is beneficial to me. Did my volunteers arrive home yet? Yay! Look, we, there we go. Okay, Bulgaria. I'm going to send you this new army, not not the not the marines. We're going to send you these and the air wings. How is the situation here? It's actually not that bad. Tactical bombers. I want to send 
You're fighters, right? Okay, let's send you and you <clears throat> to Bulgaria for now. Give us some air superiority over the country. The dismissal of Schlesch means that the uh, loss of the key ministries uh, for the key KD the DKP, and thus potentially massive loss of power in favor of the DVLP. Therefore, it is clear. In order to keep the balance within the coalition, his successor must also hail, uh, hail from uh, West Arts party. However, nowadays, conservative doesn't mean conservative anymore. Even the old uh, DKP has evolved into a diverse party with many ideology uh, divergent wings. And depending on which of those will be able to provide uh, Shell's replacement, uh, things might not end as well for the old moderate leadership around West Arp. Uh, especially in uh, connection with the oppressing uh, agricultural question, two powerful factions have emerged in the last few years, between, uh, between which uh, Shell recently managed to mediate more, more or less successfully. On the one hand, there is a class of Prussian aristocrat landowners, the Junkers, reactionary, elitist, and neuro-minded by nature. They're mostly keen on two things, preserving the social status quo and protecting their traditional property. The younger popular politician from the ranks is the Rhenish agricultural functionary uh, Hermann von Lunick, uh, who is well-connected both in the uh, local landbund and the Catholic farmer organization, willing to balance the interests of the landowners, farmers, and the industry. Let's go for the common man. So Hans is among the most renowned personalities of the Conservative Party. While technically a Junker from a non aristocratic origin, the longtime leader of the Pomeranian DKP branch has more in common with the small and mid-sized farmers west of the Elbe uh, than with his reactionary uh, grain-growing brethren in East Elbia. His estate, Gut uh, Snogin near Stettin, is regarded as an internationally renowned model business that survived the uh, that survived the agricultural and economic crisis thanks to clever entrepreneurship management. Excellent. We get a new political advisor. We get some more decisions here. Can't do anything with this, so I'm going to ignore it for the time being. I need... What do you do? Political... Stability goes up. Yes. And political power plus 50. Take it. Take it. Take it. Negative 46. Um, we'll lose this press ban... We have a defeat in Shanghai. Not great. And the second American Civil War has now begun. We got New England, the CSA, American Union State. You don't really ever see MacArthur do the uh, the West plan. Have a great day, Luca. But I think at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end off this episode. So if you enjoyed my thumbs up, not enjoy it, you can always someday. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.